Well, earlier on, Robbo and I had a little chat about who Real Madrid could probably go after to replace um, Mbappe as their target. And I kid you not, Robbo said that certain Mo Salah would be the perfect replacement. Gab, let me hit you up on that one first because we know Mo Salah has at least today made some comments saying that he can guarantee he will be there or see out his contract for the next season. He has a year left at Liverpool and then after we'll see what happens. Um, Mo Salah to Liverpool, uh, to, Manchester, to Real Madrid, of course. Is he going everywhere? <laughs> He's going everywhere. Who wouldn't want him though, right? Well, look, I, I think if you leave out what he said today, just pure hypothetical, he makes, I think in many ways, a ton of sense mm -hmm. because it's not going to be an enormous fee because he only has a year left on his contract. Mm -hmm. uh, he's 30 years old. If it's a three, four year contract, he looks after himself. Then it, it's almost like a perfect match. Salah on the right, Vinicius mm -hmm. on the left. Um, so I think that's why these things come up. Now it's interesting. He said, well, I'm staying. I'm going to see out my contract. Uh, obviously he hasn't extended with Liverpool. At some point in the back of Liverpool's mind, you know, could, could things also turn around where they look around and say, all right, well, if he doesn't extend his contract and he leaves us for nothing, are we better off perhaps ushering him, no, ushering him out the door in the nicest mm. possible way if he doesn't for, extend? For a fee. <laughs> for a fee, obviously. And obviously, you know, they've got Jota, they've got Luis Diaz they've brought on board. So it's an interesting dynamic there. I don't, I, I think if I were Salah, of course, I would plan on staying until the, and if anything, have the narrative being, oh, no, it's the club we're trying to sell me. If anything, if I'm not going to extend. Probably you're a fan of this. Absolutely, because we were talking earlier, and say Benzema gets injured after three games, you buy a key player, it's got to be a player that can do two jobs. He's got to play wide, and he's also got to play as a centre forward. And Salah can do and that. And Salah can do that. None of the other players that we've been talking about, and sort of people that have been talking about, like Harlan, he can't play out wide. He's a centre forward. Salah is the only player, I think, out of all the players we've talked about, who can play in a wide area and lovely it's on the right hand side where they haven't got their best player and if Benzema got injured or wasn't playing particularly well they can always stick in through the middle so it seems an ideal proposition for me well sticking with Salah we saw of course how his recent comments as well made headlines the fact that he said that there's some revenge probably to be had he does have a bone to pick with Real Madrid especially in the Champions League um Robo is does this motivation kind of work it's, it's, it's a few years ago now and the player that did it isn't playing anymore so yeah. I don't think it has I mean he just want to play as well as he can and I would say in the last three or four weeks he hasn't looked at his very best so he wants to have a good game he, he wants to go and score goals and he's, he's, he's going to and he's going to be up against Mendy so it's going to be a, a, an interesting battle Mendy likes to get forward Salah's going to keep running in through that inside left position or inside right position it's going to cause him lots of problems he'll, he'll have a good game Gav, revenge? I, I don't know I mean obviously people motivate themselves in different ways you just look at Mo Salah. He seems like such a nice guy. Mm. He's generally smiley with a curly hair. Just like yourself, really. Exactly. <laughs> uh, whatever he needs internally, I think he's going to get. I think more relevant is going to be, the question is, how fit is he going to be? Obviously, he's had fitness issues. He's come off the bench. I think Klopp has tried to preserve him. You know, he has obviously scored some goals even while not fit. I think the single biggest thing that he's going to be focusing on is how can it be 100% for this final? Because I can be one of the difference makers for Liverpool. Thanks so much for watching ESPN on YouTube. And for more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for premium content and live streaming, subscribe to ESPN+.